Hey everyone! Today we're going to be doing some fun activities in order to show you some medical concepts, including how things in your body work. <gasps> and guess what? You can join me too. Wow! You can do these activities with materials you find around your house. Cool! Do you know Sammy from our show? <laughs> the doctor is in? Do you remember what kind of medical equipment Sammy is? That's right! Sammy is a stethoscope. <laughs> and today, we're going to build our very own stethoscope. Cool. Now, do you remember what a stethoscope does? That's right. A stethoscope helps us hear sounds inside the body. Oh. Doctors and nurses use them to listen to your heartbeat, lungs, and even the sound of your stomach. <laughs> it's like having super hearing yeah. to make sure everything is working just the way it should. Wow. But have you ever wondered why a stethoscope works? Well, sound travels through the air in waves, kind of like how ripples move across a pond when you throw a stone. I never knew that. A stethoscope catches those sound waves and brings them straight to your ears so you can hear them clearly. Pretty cool, right? Yeah! Well, let's make one ourselves so we can try it. Oh. Here's what you'll need to build your stethoscope. First, you'll need a funnel, a paper towel tube, tape, and some markers if you want to decorate your stethoscope and make it unique to you. Step one, we're gonna assemble the stethoscope. So first, take a piece of your construction paper and make it into a funnel by going from end to end and making them wrap. Once you do that, you'll stick it in a piece of toilet paper roll, just like this. Then, you'll take your second construction piece of paper and put it on the other side. So now you'll have a tube with two funnels on either side. You'll have to tape your funnels in, and you might need to wrap the tape around a couple times to make sure it's nice and secure. So now, let's talk about how it works. Because our stethoscope is ready. It kind of looks funny, doesn't it? <laughs> but it works in the same way a real stethoscope does. Think of this funnel at the top as the part you put in your ear to hear. <gasps> and this other funnel at the bottom is the chest piece that you press against whatever you want to listen to. The tube in the middle is called the stem. It carries the sound waves from the chest piece straight to the hearing device. Cool. So you can hear sounds like heartbeats, breathing, or even your stomach grumbling after lunch. So if I wanted to listen to your heartbeat, I'd put the chest piece side of the stethoscope against your chest and the hearing device here against my ear. You can try this at home. Yeah. Maybe listen to your heartbeat or the sound of air moving when someone breathes. Oh. And here's a fun fact. Did you know your heart beats about 100,000 times a day? Wow. That's enough to fill a swimming pool with blood in your lifetime. And when doctors listen to your heart, they're listening for a lub-dub sound, which allows them to hear your heart valves are opening and closing like little doors to pump blood. Now that your stethoscope works, you can make it fun and colorful. You can use markers to add designs, your name, or even draw Sammy on it. <laughs> so thanks for joining me today and helping me build this super cool stethoscope. Isn't it amazing how we can learn about our health by listening to the sounds inside our bodies? Yeah. You've done an awesome job. Yay. I can't wait to see you next time for another fun activity and more science adventures. See you soon. See you next time. Follow for more. Thank you for watching.